right, we got five Apple TVs. We got one plugged in there, one plugged in there. That one is plugged into here. That one is plugged in there. And over here, we got this guy plugged into the projector on the ceiling. So right now what we're going to be doing is accessing a shared library for all of these. Apple TV is not the library that they're linked with, but the, just a shared library. We're just going to see how it can handle a stream of five Apple TVs at the same time using an 802.11n network distributed by an airport extreme. So we got one, two, three, four, five. If we go through, we can demo all five of them. We got one right here, got two right here, got three right here, four right here, and five. And then we turn them all off, still here and over here on the, on the computer. So we're just going to start up our remote app right here. And it's going to look for my library. So a girl from North Country, that's his plan. The really cool thing is here we can go into our speakers and we can actually see the speakers it's already streaming to. Once again, guest room Apple TV. Let's go off. Very, very quick to go off. Hit it to go on. Needs a minute just to reconnect with the Apple TV there and shoot at the data. We'll get a little uh, indicator there. And we'll start up playing again. It's very nice. We got, got complete volume control on here. That's coming out of five different speakers right now. Pretty impressive uh, syncing there, the volume control. So one particularly cool thing I got going on here is we see our multiple speakers right here. I can zoom up on for you. And uh, we see this bedroom Apple TV is unchecked, and I also have it on my iPhone here. Hit bedroom Apple TV, and that's going to change right like that. Right here we're showing the kind of metadata that doing a little bit of work on your MP4s can kind of produce with an Apple TV experience. So with the new Apple TV update that just came out yesterday, you're able to view the video playlist you make on your Mac on your um, Apple TV too. And with all this metadata entered, you can actually search by director, by actor, by date, by genre, by rating. And uh, not only does it just make everything present well, but you, know, you can really start to narrow things down. You can see here from the system profiler on the Mac Mini that the Mac Mini we're using is just standard, no hardware upgrades. What I really want to show is the activity monitor down here at the bottom. Now that's sped up 500%, so those numbers aren't real time. But what you'll notice is that the peak throughput of the network never goes above 4 megabytes per second. 802.11n is capable of 75 megabytes per second throughput at its maximum. What this means is that we can add quite a few more Apple TVs to this setup wirelessly without the need to upgrade the network infrastructure or without seeing any degradation in quality. Thanks for watching. Please stay tuned to HackedExistence.com for our next video where we'll actually implement this system in someone's house.